taught from Colin's notation, Colin Campbell's notation. Yeah. So I wonder if it would be a good idea to do that, or I, I look into another term from Peter Reed. Well, we were looking, yeah, I remember um, we got started. Um, uh, was it on Lament for the Young Laird of Dungallon? Um, uh, in, actually, I, it was Earl of Ross. Okay. Started. Yes. Yeah, but it was oh, a we, while ago. Well, um, would you like to dive in to uh, back into the Earl of Ross? Or would you like or, to do that next time? Or Dungallon sounds good. Yeah, well, well, I what I'll do is is bring them up. Um, yeah, thank on, you. Uh, um, at pbrick.net. And um, yes, because, you know, your objective uh, um, is to become just at ease with your voice and singing. So you're not having to think about it. It just happens automatically. Uh, uh, and yeah. you know, it, you've done the most amazing. Yeah, uh, actually, sort of... the more I think about teaching, you know, I have been thinking about how to get my students to sing confidently as well. But yeah. After all the thinking, I think the best would be just for me to sing confidently first and they just pick up from me yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or I show them recordings. So well, I, it is, you know, if you do it, the best teaching is modeling. If you just do it, what doesn't work is when is when what you're imparting to your student isn't inside you. It's got to be just completely part of your being and, and, and that way. You know, so if somebody sort of split you in two, it will be right there through to the core. Yeah, when you are like that, when your counter, when your capacity to vocalize is just part of your whole being, that's when your students just pick it up automatically. Yeah, so I have been trying to counter some very beginner tunes, like Scott's Wild Hair and all that. Can I send that for you? Please do. Yes, because last time you sang me uh, Scott and the Brave. Scott, uh, Very yeah. good idea. Let's hear Scott's were here. And last time I, I did Happy Birthday as well, I think we, we yeah. did. Yeah. And I thought hen, that was brilliant. Let's let's hear it. Hen, oh, hen, um, hen, oh, bra, ho, oh, ho, and ho, oh, bra. And then that's the first part. Lovely. Now I'm going to ask you to listen to yourself. Um, could you just could you just do the first phrase once again? Yep. Listen to yourself and try to think. What am I going to say? Okay. You mean what vocal board? I am let's, let's just just sing okay. it again and put yourself in the seat of the student. Imagine you are the pupil hearing okay. your voice. Okay. Off you go. Hen no hen um hen o bala. And the next phrase? Ho o ho and ho o bala. So it's that second phrase that I'm interested in. Listen to me. Ho, oh, ho, and ho, oh, bra. How could that be clearer? Uh, again, the B and C, the distinction between B and Cs. Ho, ah, ho, and ho, ah, dra. So I've got three different vowels. Ho, ah, ah. And there's an equal difference. You know, but the C and D sounds similar to me with R as well, isn't it? Can you hear the difference between love and land or heart, hunt, hand? Okay, in, yeah. in, in maybe not in Cantonese, but in English, um. It's an important, it's a vowel distinction that has meaning. So, hum, ham, a hum is what a bee does, you know, hum, or you humming along the road, and a ham is what you eat, you know, you cut slices of yeah. ham. So, so that vowel distinction 
is lexically significant or, or, or linguistically significant. And mm. I think it's the same in, in Gaelic. Um, so, and ha kjarst and ha ha hami and duli hami and uh, you know it, 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 it's a it's a different vowel. So, and then again in Gaelic also, um, you know you have the torst and o kjol kjol mor. Okay, so they're two different kjol. So henno hennam henno. So more kial more kial so so kial more they're two different vowels but mm -hmm. i think it's easier to go so let's let's use um hen no hen um hen no ham okay ham and then ham horn so the horn of a bull the horn of a cow Han, hunting, going to hunt a deer, ham, or humming a song, ham, and ham, which is, or your hat, or your hand, hand, and then ha, heart, okay, so you have your heart, and you have your hat. Yeah. Uh, let's just let's just practice those those distinctions after okay. me so we go, we're going heart which is you know a, a heart heart let's hear you heart hat hat heart hat heart hat yeah so it's so it's a it's a little distinction but actually it's a brilliant thing for english students if people are learning english you need to be able to say heart, hat, or this is hard, had. Yeah, they're two different words. Hard, you know, this is a hard problem. Had, I had ham and eggs for breakfast this morning. <laughs> had, hard. But let's use heart. Because brave heart, people have maybe heard of you know a film, heart, your heart, heart and hat, you know a, a magician's hat. So let's just go heart, hat, heart, heart, hat, heart, hat. Yeah, heart. Hat. Yeah, hat, heart, hat, hat, heart, hat. Heart, hot hat, hat, heart. Heart, hot hat, hat, heart. And now let's go from, let's do it as grace notes from Henda, 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 Henda. Henda, 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 Henda. Can, can you brighten the, the D? Henda, 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 Henda. So we get a good, dis the, you know, the mm. mouth is, is different. Mm. Da, ah, ah. So the, 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 the cheeks need to kind of, it's more open. Ah, 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 ah. Just try that. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yeah, so, hinda, hinda, so, hinda, so dart, throwing darts to a dart board, or yeah. hin heart, hin, hin, uh, den ha, den ha, den ha, ah, yes, ha, den ha, den ha, den ha, den. Let's, let's do that. So, so, yeah. the, 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 this is a very kind of peabrocky sort of thing, very okay. idiomatic. <laughs> So hard and hard and hard and hard and and the cheeks, you know, like hard and hard and hard and hard. And it's just like the English word hard, except this is not hard. Hard and 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 hard. Yeah, and the ha can be even brighter. Try to hard and ha. Really good smile. Hard and hard and hard and hard and hard and hard and hard. Yeah, so I'm liking that distinction. 
Um, so hard in 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 try it. Can I put in the Cantonese word that I found before to see if they are close enough for you? Yes, yes. Ho is the C. Ho, then ho, then ha, then ha, then ho, then ho, then ha, then ha. Yeah, I'm liking that distinction. Can we then go from, let, let's now hear the distinction from B to C, because what we need to do is, is, is we've got these three pictures. No, ho, ha, ha, and we, and what, what the objective, Chris, is for it to be audible, that the vowel change is audible to your students. No. Because if two of the notes have the same vowel, that's just confusing. No. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to heighten, we're trying to kind of underline, we're taking a highlighter pen and we're adding a distinction. We're, we're kind of, it's almost like, it's not exaggerating, but it's highlighting or emphasizing, bringing yeah. out the yeah. pitch change. Okay, yeah. so it's in fact counterproductive if we use the same vowel. It's good pedagogy to change the vowel. Yeah. So let's just now change, uh, 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 be focus on the B to C distinction, because yeah. we want that to be just as prominent to the ear, just as easy to understand yep. as the C to D. Okay, yep. so uh, let's go hen, ho, din, ho. If, if I, in the English words I've used are um, hoard, if you're going to hoard a, 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 of gold, you're hoarding, yeah, you have hoarders, um, yeah. hoard and hoard and Hard and hard and hard and hard and hard. So we'll use the same pattern. Hard and 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 hard and. Let's try that. Hard and hard and hard and hard. That sounds the same to me. Okay. We need it to sound oh ha. So let's let's go back to love. Okay, Lord. Okay, Lord Roberts, love Roberts or um, love Lord. Lord uh, uh, um, who's a famous Lord? Uh, what's a who's a Lord that you've heard of? Lord Arden. Lord Alexander Kennedy, a two for March. Lord Alexander, love Alexander, Lord Alexander, love, that's Lord Alex, love Alex, Lord Alex, love Alex. Just try that. Lord, Lord Alex, Lord Alex, love Alex, Lord love Alex, love Alex. There you go. Lord. Now, miss out, and instead of Alex, We'll go din, lordin, lordin, lardin, lardin, lordin, lordin, lardin, lardin. Great. Now we'll 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 think of of Lord uh, Bill. Okay, Lord Bill, Lord Bill, love Bill, love Bill, and think of Bill. What does Bill look like? Okay, sing it. Thinking of Bill. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love. Great. Yeah. Okay. And now we'll think of 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 um Sam. Okay. Lord Sam. Lord Sam. Love Sam. Love Sam. Try that one. Lord Sam. Lord Sam. Love Sam, love Sam. There you go. Yes. Now let's try the hoard uh, 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 and hoard hard um, piece. Oh, okay. 
Hold peace, hold peace, hard peace, hard peace. <laughs> Lord no. Hold yeah. peace, hold peace, hard peace, hard peace. There you are. So these are English words, you know, a hard piece or a hoard. Well, hoard gold, ho hoarding, hoarding, harding, harding. Uh, hoarding is, is an English word when you're hoarding um, rubbish. You know, you might be hoarding uh, uh, um, pencils. Yeah, somebody who keeps hoarding pencils, hoarding, hoarding, harding, harding, and harding is a surname. You you might have a, a, a Mr. Harding or Mrs. Harding, hoarding, hoarding, harding, harding. Try that. Hoarding, hoarding, harding, harding. Great. So there is a beautiful distinction between B and C. It's audible. It's clear, good pedagogy. Now, can we do all three? Holding, harding, hiding, harding. Okay, this is the tricky bit. This is the moment of truth. Yeah. Okay, let's just try the um, holding, holding, harding, harding, hiding, hiding, harding, harding. Off we go. Holding, holding, harding, 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 harding. Lovely. The oh, ha, brighten the ha, because if you can brighten the ha, make it more more smiley. Yeah. So now it's a lovely tune. In fact, it, you 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 know it. It's it's a lament for Alistair Jerick. Okay. <laughs> Holding, holding, harding, harding, hiding, hiding, harding, harding, hiding, harding, holding, holding, harding, holding, hen and hen and if we add the bottom. But let's just let's just focus. We'll not we'll not go into a tune. We're just improvising on three notes. Okay. Um, and the way to if you can stretch the outer ones, ha, make it brighter and ho, make it darker. Okay, so brighter, ha, ho, and then the one in the middle, ha, is midway between these vowel sounds. Ha, so well, let's start at the bottom, ho, and let's go backwards and forwards. So I'll do one and you sing back to me. Holding, holding, harding. Harding, 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 holding, 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 harding, 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 harding. Harding, 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 holding, harding, harding. Harding, holding, harding, harding. What was this? Harding, holding, harding, harding. Harding, holding, harding, harding. Were you confused by my hand signals? Yeah, I just forgot yeah so. okay so 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 i think this is maybe this is a drill to yeah. help you get your vowels into your body 
yeah yeah um and i think that that um it seems to be a, you know you might think it's a small detail but actually no it's a it's a big thing being able to to make sonic to make audible this distinction yeah. it will i think it's really helpful and it's so resonant with hebridean tradition because you hear them singing uh on a c so often in the recording yes. okay that yes. the c is very often ah and you think wait a minute ah is d why are you thinking ah on c yeah okay so so i think it's a it's a very valuable thing to yeah i think it's just uh for me it's difficult to hear the foul distinction between c and d because because both are but are you so, so so i think you could focus on the mouth yeah yeah the size of yeah. the mouth ah, ha, ah, ah. Yeah. and the other way to do it is to think about the english because you, you you've lived in in an english language environment and so you could think of him maybe it's good to think of bad and bad you know budweiser the beer yeah people call it bud and a bud is the bud of a rose a rose bud okay bud is 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 one word but bad is a completely different word yeah so we could go him bad him bad him bad him bad let's try that him bad bad him bad him bad him bad so bard, him bard, it's a bard, you know, it's a, a, um, get a fix, yeah. an asterisk, the bard who sings. Yeah, like B-A-R-D. Yeah, B-A-R-D, bard, a bard is yeah. not a bad, he's not a yeah. bad bard, <laughs> or maybe he yeah. is a bad bard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, maybe you could say the bad bard is bored. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay, the bad bard is bored. The bad bard is bored. The bad bard is bored. Try it. Bad bard is bored. That's the best pronunciation I've heard you do. Okay, I think we've I think we've hit the jackpot. Yeah, or at and, least it's one road in. The bad yeah. bard is bored. The bored bard is bad. Let's try it the other way around. The bored bard is bad. The bored bad bored bard is bad. Yeah, you you you're automatically pronouncing it well because you're thinking of a of of the bored bard being bad yeah yeah or the bad yeah. bard being bored and the That's bard is nice. in the and the bard is in the clan system with the, exactly the, the exactly and it's quite funny it, I, I like this a lot because because we all know asterix asterix and the bard uh, um presumably in hong kong you have those comic books uh, no, I I didn't read much when I was young. Okay, well, oh, well, it doesn't matter. But we yeah. we, we know what a bard yeah. is. Um, yeah. if people play Dungeons and Dragons, you know, uh, um, there are you know a bard. It, it does take us into this medieval or uh, um, kind of old like a, world, like the, the legends or folklore yeah. in the folklore. Okay, well, look, I think that that if you would like to use bored bard is bad and bad bard is bored as a little educational thing with your students i'd encourage you to do that because we've tried lots of experiments in our lessons yeah. that one worked better for you than anything else we've done uh yeah I, I i like it because i can tell them the bark was in the can system as well along yeah. with the papers yeah 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 and what you can also do is you can say that the clan cheat the reason that the bagpipe rose in uh, prestige and uh, um glamour was because the chieftains 
got a bit bored of the bards. Yeah. <laughs> was <laughs> Yun Dao Makai a bard? Or... He was a bard, yes, but he was also a piper. And yeah. perhaps so... one of the reasons that he became a piper was because, because English was becoming more and more important. And so the craft of the bards was being squashed. It was being marginalized and pushed out um, from the Tudor. From, from the time of the of the Tudors, when um, it, they were trying to really to root out um, uh, Catholic and particularly Gallic speaking um, uh, um, from the British, from the United Kingdom. OK, so you've got the it became illegal to be a bard, to be an itinerant bard, and you could be. Uh, um, you know, if you travelled around, uh, because the bards traditionally they travelled from house to house, and they were they were um, kind of feared, and they were given shelter, and and this ancient practice was made illegal in the 16th century, and so the the, the bards were under persecution. So quite and, early in 16th century. It, yeah, in the 16th it's century, it's like the. Uh, early time for the highland piping history yeah 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 well this is when the piping starts to rise because you see the pipes didn't speak gallic the pipes could be a protestant and an english instrument okay so it was okay it didn't have the associations uh that bar that the bardic culture did with yeah. language so and also in war war became very very important and so the, the highlanders were appreciated by the protestant armies in northern europe uh, uh, because highland soldiers were very good okay they weren't expensive they didn't cause trouble so they were paid uh, uh, um you know you had thousands of, of highland mercenaries fighting wars of other kings across europe uh, and scandinavia um, and so the bagpipe became very, very important and it rose in stature, became very prestigious. Um, and the, the bards were losing their lo losing prestige. And it's quite fun to be able to and do the, the players as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's just let's just um, run a little, a little, a final little uh, um, refresher exercise. Him bad, him bad, him bad. Him bad, him, him bad, him bad, him bad, him bad. Him bad, him bad, him bored, him bored. Him bad, him bad, him bored, him bored. Him bad, him bad, him bored, him bored. And bad, and bad, and bored, and bored. Now, with, what I'm doing with my hand is I'm going from the kind of straight to the furthest. Ha, yeah. ha, ha. So there's a sort of sequence. Ha, 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 ha. ha. Do you think that works? Yeah. I mean, just yeah. because it's kind of what you're doing with your mouth on the vowels. Yeah. Ha. Ha, ha, so open, ah, ah, or, and, and you know, it, it's kind of the mouth is closed, or, ah, uh, relax, this is relaxed, ah, uh, ah, uh, so there's effort to open, ah, uh, kind of relaxed, comfortable midpoint, ah, uh, and then closed, or, oh, bored, bad. Bad. Let's try. Him bored, him bored, him bad. Him bored, him bored, him bad. Him bad, him bad, him bad. Him bad, him bad, him bad. Him bored, him bad, him bad. I'm bored and bad and bad. Well done. Yeah, it's it's um, I think maybe you could obviously come up with some Cantonese equivalents, but in if but this is quite a, maybe a helpful thing because you'll you've got the image of these English words bored. You're feeling bored. Bad. You're playing the lie. You're singing. 
uh, and bad, we all know what bad means. <laughs> yeah. um, so in fact, it's a very, I think it's a good mnemonic um, and a good vehicle for, for practicing those vowels. Yeah, but how can I apply that to the normal cantor sound? I mean, to the... Hen, do, hen, em, hen, do. So, board, bad. So, hem, so, hem, bo. Just think of the word board. Hem, bo, hem, and hem, bo, ah. Hem, no, ba, hem, no, dad. Okay? Oh, and you need to think of, let's, let's put in the words, board, bad, board, hen, board, bad, bad. Try it slowly, slow it down. Board, bad, board, and board, bad, bad. That is how you apply it. Chris. Oh. You slow it down and, and by practicing on anything, okay, so you know, you take any tune and you just apply the words bored, bad, bad, in order to embed it in your body, in your yep. mouth. Yep. I quite like that there's something nice here that I hadn't, hadn't occurred to me before. Love, bad. The mouth is relaxed. Ah, ah. It's the least tension. Yeah, the mouth is just floppy. Bah, the lips. Yeah, around here. Bah. Now to change the vowel either down to a B or up to an A, uh, to a D, okay. So, both involve tension okay you've got your relaxed middle and you stretch open and it's a more dissonant note you relax and you're back to the consonant sweet c with your drones and then you again a bit of tension you close the mouth oh and you have the note that that most dissonant note of all oh the dark kind of tense note so it's almost as if the shape of the mouth is is in tune or the tension in your mouth is in tune with the sensory dissonance in the sound yeah yeah that makes sense i'd never thought of that before and i don't know if that's in the design of this in ancient times but certainly it, it's maybe a way to it, it's quite nice to think about that um because it is this is um it's an important distinction because musically, it's going, oh, ha, are the notes of tension and war, okay, dissonance. And then there's the resolution to the sweetness of C. Yeah. And C is such a beautiful note. Ah, oh, la. So I think it's very appropriate that we have the sound bard and love and heart, okay, heart, hat. The bard puts his hat, <laughs> yeah, a bad hat, a hard bard, and a bored horde. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and for the E, I know you always suggest to use the vowel per for the E. Yeah. What What would the second option be for the E, e for the vowel? He, you know, he, he, and even yeah, he, her, he, yeah, nah, nah. and if you want to give the low A more volume, you go, because hmm, it's quite quiet. If you want to give it more sound, he, yeah, nah, nah. you can give it an ah. He, yeah. Yeah, nah, nah. Oh, draw, and nah, nah. hmm. Da and da and do and da and do and then and ham and do and da and da and da and da and da. Darth Vader, Darth, yeah, or oh, dark, dark and damp, 
dank. Mm -hmm. There is a word called dank. It's not a very common word. Dank and dunk, dark, dar, dad. Dad is much more well known. Dad, dark, dad, dark, door. I mean, everybody knows what a door is. Okay. Door, dark, or Darth Vader, dark, dad. And that, that's, it's quite useful to have a, so you've got the, the bored, bard, bad, or the bad, bard is bored. And you've got the open the door, open the, yeah, open the door, um, open the door into the dark. It is your dad, uh, uh, into dad. Open the door. Sorry, oh, Dad. Open the door. Uh, um, uh, here is your. Uh, um, this is your. This is your dad. Here, uh, um, dark. Uh, t today is dark. T it's nice to have the t t t da t t t door. And then in dark, dark. And then in door. And then in dark. And then in dad. And then in dark. In an indoor, there's another set of three. Yeah, uh, yeah, I find it is quite useful to maybe practice those common patterns, likes of the triplets, GDEs, or those embellishments for to help the. Let's just sound of the final, film note. final, final thing. I want to hear your happy birthday, and okay. and, and so with we'll, we'll do it with um. Bard, okay, the bad bard is bored, so hen him bored, him bad bard, hen him he is bored, the herd bad, hen and dee he bad bard bored. <laughs> Have a go with happy birthday. Oh. Hen and and then bored, then bad, bad, and then bored, then hurt, bad, and then be, and then dee, bad, bad, bored, hey, 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 bad, hurt, bad. Okay, we've got to add a bird. Okay, the bird is singing. Yeah, a black bird. Bird. So, he did he. Bad bird. Bad. <laughs> okay. Bad bird. Bad. There you go. Okay, so we've we've added a we've added a fourth one there. The bird. Bad is 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 quite helpful. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I will practice that. So you can apply that to any tune. Now, um, let's uh, let's. Should we have a quick look at "Lament for Cameron of Dungallon? Yeah, please. Um, and I I know this tune appears in Collins' rotation and also in Gasto. Is it the Dungallon's Lament or something? I mean, I, I the one we were looking at was um oh. w was the last time was Kiana Dochich. No, sorry. Um, uh, the Earl of Ross's march. Would you prefer to look at Earl of Ross? Uh, I, I, I would quite like to start something new, if you don't mind. So you, Cameron. So lament for Cameron of Dungallon. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose uh, the easiest thing to do is for me to share screen, um, okay. and we'll. And this tune is in MacArthur's manuscript as well. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I know you like Gaston's manuscript and you've, you said it's very close to what Warner Lightfoot would sing. Yes. So what about Angus Mackay's from his father, John Mackay? Yes. Well, yeah, you get elements of. of that too. You can hear, uh, you, you know, the, the, the thing is that the fluidity, it's important to acknowledge yeah. the degree of fluidity. So what you sense 
um, between. Yeah, I mean, you hear a lot of the things. If you include all the uh, the diversity, all the fluidity um, in archive recordings of Kantarach, you can kind of find everything between Gesto and uh, Angus yeah. Mackay's specimens of Kantarach. It's all there. I think practically every yeah. single vocable that you see written down 200 yeah. years ago, over 200 yeah. years ago, you can hear sung on our yeah, It's like the mixtures of cardons. It's like... Yeah. But we've got the time is, is, is again, okay. so let's cool. really use this time yeah. well. And... Um, or shall uh, we use MacArthur's manuscript? So I don't... I wouldn't influence by the vocables. Okay, nice idea. Yes. Yes, we can do that, certainly. I actually I played this tune before, but in like people society settings. Um, um so um should we just go straight in Udra in Udra? Um, um I suppose what I might just do is is double check. Gesto, so we've got the Gesto as well, because it's so nice, you know, as we've got it here, we can kind of Embutra den Hudram Pedru Pedru. Okay. Ye Embutra den Hudram Pedru Hochen Hu Hochen Dra. He of an Oh, that's interesting. But the, so, uh, uh, so I'm not quite sure what's happening there. I'll need to think about that. Uh, uh, let's go back to uh, MacArthur. Okay. So, shall I just sing this? Yes. Um, um, I will attempt. And I'll sing it in the... I hen udra den hudra pedre ha hen pedre ha hen dra hi a roden da hudra he now does he mean to do a pedre probably it's just got missed out hudra pedre ha hen pedre ha ho hen dro now he doesn't do a cut and a dot here there so has he just missed that out or did he did he oh hendro he en no dra den ho dra bedre ha hen bedre ho ha hen dra he a ro den da very important he a ro den da and it's the same here he a rodenda. Okay, apologies, I'd missed that. He a rodenda hodra. That's beautiful. He a rodenda hodra. Because you've got henda hodra. He a rodenda hodra ve ha hen bedru a ho hendro. Now I'm noticing that we have a bit there and yep. here there and then bit there and then here there and that's a pattern so maybe yeah. it's not an accident yeah all right i'm now gonna i'm gonna sing that first half um i've never studied this before okay this is what i'm, I'm busking this yeah. And I'm loving that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So give give those a bit more evenness. Those a bit more evenness and a nice cut there and enjoy the lack of uh on that because it's it's like an answer so you've got the the, the ripply one the active one and then the piece the languid one 
Okay, so you're going from from uh, uh, in the first phrase, you've got all this energy. Um, um, he I love this tune. It's wonderful. He and now I was expecting, I was expecting a bit more there. I was expecting a grip. Why has he not got a grip there? Mm, interesting. So we're going doing the second half now from this little squiggle. He and den hova. So if there's no, um, 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 let's call it a gyarach, okay? A gyarach. A cutting. Hovan bedri hem. Na hem the bedri he he. Haroden ooh haroden da hova. Yeah. There's not even a grace note. Yeah. I've got to see what the what Angus Mackay does. Sorry, I'm just really interested. What does Angus Mackay do? Ah, uh, he he made it very consistent every time. Typical. He's Angus Mackayified it. And what's in here is so lovely. I'm going to stick. Do you know what? Let's believe MacArthur. Yeah. All right. Let's believe MacArthur for the moment. And then I am very tempted to bring down Franz Bausman's edition and see what Franz okay. Bausman thought. Oh, but wow. let's, for the time being, yep. uh, uh, believe the, 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 what's written here. Because too often editors think they know better and they get too full of themselves they become overconfident and they don't respect their their source so i would say be wet respect the source unless you really 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 have good reason yeah. uh, to do otherwise now and again, it's just a little tap. It's so gentle. Lovely. Yeah. Um, now, this is so interesting. He doesn't seem to have any cutting or dotting here. Yeah, him, but oh, it's gorgeous. Him, but and I think it's quite nice to to sing the way he's written it. Him, but oh, dram, oh, dram, but oh, he's a genius. Okay, this is Angus MacArthur, no less. One of the greatest pipers. Okay, John Mackay, I'm sorry, but John Mackay is a junior compared with the source here. Yeah. We've got Angus MacArthur himself, piper to Lord MacDonald, playing a chanter. 
Yeah, okay. He's he's yeah. whistling, and a fetan is a whistle. Okay, so he's whistling. He's not he's not going. <whistles> he's actually playing his fetan. He's playing his fetan, and Ang Andrew Robertson, okay, the, the who's supervising and signing off these manuscripts. He's checking that John McGregor has done a good job. John McGregor is an expert piper. We've got a fabulous witness. Okay, it's not it's not a mediocre musician. It's a top notch musician, John McGregor. Okay, very conversant. He's playing he's playing Union pipes. He's playing Highland pipes. He's 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 a he's a prize winner, uh, um, and he's engaged uh, to to do these transcriptions from the eighty year old, from the best piper in London. All right. How how old was John when he did that? Ooh, good question. Um, I'm, I'm, I'd need to refer to Hans oh, right. book. And uh, Angus McCuffer was the son of Charles McCuffer. A nephew. He was nephew. the nephew of Charles MacArthur. Um, uh, but you know they. So it's in the family. Uh, so they they will have certain. He will certainly have um, uh, 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 benefited uh, from his uncle's uh, uh, um, expertise. So let's just, so this is really interesting, okay? So there's a correction that's gone on here. Yes, that's quick. Oh. Wow. I'm going to do the second half again. Okay. Thank you for asking to go through McGregor MacArthur. Yeah, thank you for trying this with me. He and Hodra and I like going Okay, so every one of those grace notes is articulated with your tongue. So I put in a little v when there's no grace note. So is the same as So I'm being absolutely consistent with my vocabilizing. Sorry. Okay, that's important. Ha rodenda hova and that again it's smooth. Ha rodenda hova bedri ehe bedri ya ohendro. He and nodra hem na gesto. I'm interested in how gesto does this. Um, so hem bodra den. Okay. Every time, him, butra, but now love. I think we write the word love with an O. So, him, uh, bo. So that's board or lord. Tra, love. Tra. Okay. So we're not. We're not disagreeing. This is the point. We're not disagreeing with Gesto. He is representing two different vowel sounds. Lord and love with the same letter. Embutra, embutra, then hudra. Okay, hudra. What he's written there is hudra. So it's just a little bit, little moment of. It's not hudra. It's hudra because embutra, then hudra, bidri. He and I think here he, he's he's it's clearly uh, he uh, he uh, he uh, he 
ブドゥルーおいしいフォードラーブドゥルーインポッシブルとなるフォードラーブドゥルーおフォードラーブドゥルーあほへんどろ We don't really know because if this is a the point is it's emotional This is an emotional lament. They're not tied bound by the score. They they are all clearly making it their own, adapting it. It's part of being emotional. For yeah. God's sake. Yeah? yeah. Making this tune exceptional means being spirited. Being being allowing the emotion to pull you in a way that creates if you if you can do it better, if you can make it more beautiful, you make it more beautiful. And of course, it's people at the top, the masters, who do that. People like Angus MacArthur. So this is probably his version, or he may be yeah. being faithful to 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 Charles MacArthur. He may have liked Charles MacArthur's version. Okay, they're, they're making it their own. Yeah. I suspect intentionally, not accidentally. Yeah, these this, this fluidity is not corruption. It's not forgetting. It's intentional creativity. Yeah. So back to the second half. He em budra den hudra bidri ehve bidri ehve ehve haro den da hudra sorry hudra bidri ehve bidri ya ho hindro he em budra den hudra bidri ehve bidri ehve You know, you kind of need to give that a bit of weight, I feel. I like putting the hohendro. Okay, you got a nice hen. Da, and here I'm giving the bard sound. Hen, da, 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 or dark, or Darth Vader, yeah? Hen, da, da, hen, do. Ah, sorry. Hen, da, 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 hen, do, hen, de, hen, da, hen, do, hen, da, ho. Hen, da, da, hen, do, hen, de, hen, da, hen, da, hen. Hendred Da hen do hen di hen de hen di hen do hen hen dre da hen do hen di hen de hen di hen da ho hen di hen de hen de hen da hen di hen da hen do hen lovely i think it's straightforward from now on yeah there's nothing there's nothing uh, difficult there um apart from for you differentiating bard and bored yeah hard and hoard dark and door yeah it's a dark door or if you go through the door into the dark <laughs> into the dark <laughs> into the door open the door into the dark <laughs> that's quite nice try it open the door into the dark open the door into the dark yes and on the word door just keep it straight in open the door don't 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 pronounce the r at the end open the door into the dark open the door into the dark nice okay so that's what we have in but but, but for the d it doesn't sound dark it sounds very bright yeah so in other words it's nicer to go um uh, uh, here is the board here is the bard here is the bat uh, uh, um, isn't he bad isn't the bard uh, um you, i haven't um diddle dee diddle dee bore uh, hadn't done door hen hen he hen and 
do the, the de is a bit easier. It's just for for um uh it's nice to do bad, bad, bored, but you need some alternatives up your sleeve for um f in order to fit it to whatever music you're doing. So here we need hen da hen so uh so ba ba hen em bram ba him bo him we could do em bram ba him bo him just try that hen bram hen bram ba hen hen bram hen bram ba hen bram ho hen just try we're thinking of ba and Bad and bored him, but him, bar him, bore him. Hen, but him, bar him, bore him. Yeah, nice. You've got a beautiful distinction there between your C and your B. And the, 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 the this piece doesn't have a D really, uh, um, um, so you don't get to practice that distinction. And so what happens in reality, of course, is that when you don't have the D, yeah, you so normally you've got these three pitches um you've got your three pitches the bad bard bald but it's quite unusual to have all three in a pibroch or in a in a tune so what happens if you don't have that one is that these widen <laughs> okay yeah. they just naturally float apart and the and the and the ah uh, might get a bit brighter in order to increase the distinction yeah, yeah. And likewise if you don't have this one Okay, then what happens is, 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 is this one here can get a bit darker because you don't need to brighten quite so much. So the rule is contrast. Yep. And where it gets a little bit more involved is where you have all three notes, a C, a, a D, a C and a B. And so you have to work a bit harder to, to make it really clear to your student yep. what's happening. Yep. Um, so I'll just, just we'll finish on um, the... Uh, uh, this piece, because I'd love to hear you do this next week. Uh, do you want me to give you anything more before we split? Uh, I think I have uh, I have enough to work on because it, I only have six more days until I see you. Grand. Well, look, um, when you come to this, and so. Hen bitter ha, hen bitter ho, hen bitter he, hen bitter he, hen bitter. Let's just see what Gesto does. Ah, the three, so. Hen, hen, the three ha, ha, so bad love, hen, hen. He and the three ha, the three ho, the three he, the three he, the three. So I find that a bit confusing. The three, so in this piece, he seems to be doing the three. Whereas in other pieces, we get, we get, we see the IE at the end of the uh, So you can choose whether you're going. He and the tr ha, the tr ho, the tr he, the tr. Uh, ha the tr he the tr ha the tr he o den he o the tr ha the tr ho the tr he he the tr ha the tr he the tr ho the tr hen dan. Okay, so we've clearly got a different uh, um a, a, a setting here. Yeah, this is different. Hen dan. Yeah, there. That's that's got to be a low G. Hen dan hen hun the three ha hen the three he the tr ha hen the three he the three he the three he the three ha the three he the three ha the three he ha then ho the three he he the three yeah I I don't know because it's we don't really know what notes what pitches these are okay it's guesswork so let's go back to where we do know what the pitches are hen the tr or hen the three ha the three ho the three he the three ha the three he the three ha the three ha then i mean if you were if you were going ha ha the three h 
ha. That's quite good. Do you see what I'm doing there? So, ho de tri he de tri ha de tri he de tri ha de tri ha ye a den. Ho de tri ha de tri ho de tri he de tri ha de tri he de tri ho de tri he o den. Hen de tri ha de tri ho de tri he. Yeah, kind of stay on the same thing. Ho de tri he de tri he de tri he de tri ha de tri he a den. Ho de tri ha de tri ho de tri he de tri he de tri he de tri ho ha de tri he a. Oh, sorry, I missed a line. Ho de tri he o den. Hen de tri ha de tri ho de tri he de tri he de tri he de tri ha de tri he a den he de tri he he de tri he de tri he de tri ha de tri he de tri ha de tri ho de tri he o den. So the note sequence here is very different to the one that I know. The one that I am the most familiar with is, is, is dear old Colin Campbell. And so you could switch, you know, there's no reason why you should can't, you know, combine a setting. If you wanted to um, go, uh, oh, I, I see what's going. So if you will look at Colin Campbell, don't look at this one. Okay, there are two Colin Campbells. You need to look at the first one, I think. Okay. Uh, if you want to get the whole of the Krumli. Uh, it's interesting, Colin wrote two of the same tune. It's an accident. Yeah, he started copying it out. And then he realized that he'd already copied it out. Okay. okay. So, uh, and it, what's amazing is that they really are identical. Yeah. I, I don't think, or I'm, I, I don't recall there being any difference. But, but you need to see that, uh, um, yeah, the first one has the Krumli. So here we go. Hem bandru ha bandru ho bandru he bandru ha bandru he bandru ha bandru hi o sorry ha bandru hi o hem bandru ha bandru ho bandru he bandru he bandru what's going on here? Hem bandru ha bandru ho bandru he bandru he bandru ho bandru hem ah yeah this is why I love it. And this happens in Gears 2 as well. Goes into 7 4. The intensity, instead of being staying in, in, in 4 4 all the way, suddenly we, we, it knocks off in the doubling. He knocks off a, a, a beat. And it's totally consistent, and you get it both in Gesto and in Colin Campbell. So I would encourage you to think ah, let's explore this. Uh, because this is one of the things that Angus Mackay and clearly Angus MacArthur decided to regularize because they were modern, yeah, and maybe they didn't maybe they didn't take too kindly, maybe they had, had been educated that thing maybe they'd learned to i don't know for for whatever reason, these things get um uh, uh, deleted, okay. So hen bandru ha bandru ho bandru hi bandru he bandru hi bandru ha bandru hi o hen bandru ha bandru ho bandru hi bandru he bandru hi bandru ho bandru hen hen bandru ha bandru ho bandru hi bandru he bandru hi bandru ha so hi bandru ha bandru Ho he bandra he bandra he bandra ha bandra he bandra ha bandra ho bandra hen. That's the same as Angus MacArthur. Yeah. Hen bandra ha bandra ho bandra he bandra ha bandra he bandra ha bandra ha bandra hen bandra ha bandra ho bandra he bandra he bandra ho bandra ho bandra. Knocking off a beat. Okay. Still the seven four at the end. Yeah, there's a bar of three four. You're going along in four four nicely, and then there's a bar of three four. Do it, do it, man, because good guess though. And the three ha. Uh, uh, 
Hen de tri ha de tri ho de tri he de tri ha de tri he de tri ha de tri ha de tri ho de tri ha de tri ho de tri he de tri ha de tri he de tri ho de tri hen de tri he. You see? Yeah. Missing. Missing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something else is going on here. Clearly, there's a repeat. Uh, 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 one of the things needs to be repeated. I think there should be a repeat sign there. Yes. Okay, so so between there and here, you need to you need to repeat that. Okay. Um, but I think it's a lovely touch that in the doubling, if you look at you can see it. He does it totally consistently. Do you see? And it's so clever because it puts people, it puts people at dis, uh, a discomfort. There's tension. What's happening here? They, 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 mm. they, you've set up the expectation for a regular 4-4 four four, and then you throw them a, a, a spanner. You know, it's just disruptive. And I love this disruption. It's so mm. musical, so dramatic. Please, Chris, I beg you, if there's <laughs> one thing you do in this piece, throw in this. Uh, um, you've got yes. such good witnesses. You've got, you've got uh, both um, Ian Du McCrimmon, and you've got um, a, another of uh, Malcolm McCrimmon's pupils, um, Colin Campbell's father. OK, so Colin Campbell probably learned this from his dad, Donald. Donald was a student of Callum McCrimmon, like Ian do. OK, so, they, so this clearly comes from Malcolm McCrimmon. Ian do, like Ian John do McCrimmon. McCrimmon. Yeah. yeah, John McCrimmon, yeah. Black John. And he oh, was man. also a student of Charles McCuffer, was he? His brother, Donald Ruach, was sent okay. to Charles McCuffer. Yeah, to have his education finished, to be to to to, to be taught MacArthur's particular graces. So the younger brother of John. Correct. Donald. Yeah. That's went right. to Charles. Cool. Yeah. So you've got plenty to be, to be doing, uh, um, but I really feel we've made some important progress this week because what you're doing is you're embedding this this distinction, and the distinction is helpful for your students. Yeah, and it's respectful of Hebridean tradition. Yeah, for sure. And it's not inconsistent with with uh, these vowels. Yeah. Um, because we write different sounds, you know, there are there are more vowel sounds than there are vowel letters. Yeah. I will work on this tune between three different sources. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can you, you create, decide, you don't spend too long, decide what you're doing. The, my only uh, um, plea is that you, is that you... Uh, um, Take off one bit. Yeah, and I think, I think, I think you can... Yeah, I don't. It's very close to MacArthur, so re literally you can you can you just adapt MacArthur's score um, to bring it into a line with both of Malcolm McCrimmon's pupils, um, yeah. Donald Campbell and Ian Du. Yeah. Have a good week, and I look forward to seeing yeah. you next Wednesday. Great. Thanks very much. Same My to you, Barnaby. Cheers. Cheers, Chris. Bye. Thank you.